Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at Driver Booster Beta 1.0 from IOBit. We've given it a run. We've watched some of the early feedback. Everybody seems to like it. It seems to be working really, really well. The problem you've got with drivers is people are afraid to update them. They're afraid their system's going to break. Uh, if your computer's over a year old and it's a brand name, the company you bought your computer from, Hewlett Packard, Compaq, Gateway, etc., doesn't update the drivers, so now your drivers are sometimes three, four years out of date, and there's nothing you know you can do about it unless you want to go manually find the computer manufacturer. For example, if your sound card is made by Realtek, you would have to go find the correct Realtek audio driver to install it. Time consuming, and people just don't want to take the extra risk. This is a nice, solid way to do it. It's going to scan your machine by simply clicking scan and then it's going to tell you it's out of date. You can click update. I've uh, already updated but I've got some screenshots I can show you before we close out. And it will download it, update the driver, set a restore point in case you do have a problem so that you can go back and offer to reboot which most driver installs require. Really as simple as that. Aside from that there's your restore here if you do have a problem. Over here where this little arrow is you can do some of your settings. There's nothing major. Check for your updates if you need some help start with Windows, how to scan if you want to do it weekly, if you want to start with Windows, where to store the drivers if you download them, which is sweet because now you can take the latest drivers you've got in the case of a system problem down the road, you'll already have your drivers ready to roll for you. Got to dig it. All right. Again, it's in beta. They're probably just looking for your feedback, so if you like it or you find a problem or something missing, make sure you send them a note. Uh, let me show you this real quick. These are the screenshots I took when I tested the program. As you can see, there was a wireless card that I had that was out of date. And it gives you about how old it is. Allows you to update it. Gives you more information. This is after I finished it. Simply reboot to install the driver. And of course, that's the screen you've been seeing through the entire video. And the settings you saw during the video. And once again, once finished, you're all up to date. Once you get to there, you know you're done. Honestly, as simple as that. Um, go ahead and check it out in the description of the video. There's a link there to go download it. And you can literally look at these screenshots there as well. And we thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.